Good morning, dear friends. We're back here at uh, St. John the Evangelist's uh, Labyrinth, a prayer labyrinth where people can, can walk. The wind's getting up, as you can see. Um, walk the prayer labyrinth and leave everything at the foot of the cross for Jesus. Now, um, uh, yesterday we celebrated Father's Day, and uh, as well as loving our biological fathers, we focus on our Heavenly Father, uh, Jesus Christ, Yeshua, Messiah. As we continue the theme of Thy Kingdom Come and focus on the King's coming, as we, as we walk the labyrinth, listen to how the Lord is trying to guide us in our walk with His Son, Jesus. Today's reading is Revelation 13. I'm going to read all the, uh, the, the chapter out and, um, and then I'm going to follow five points afterwards, how is the, the chapter is speaking to me. So, Revelation 13. Then I saw a beast rising out of the sea. It had seven heads and ten horns, with ten crowns on its horns, and written on each head were names that blasphemed God. This beast looked like a leopard, but it had the feet of a bear and the mouth of a lion. And the dragon gave the beast his own power and throne and great authority. I saw that one of the heads of the beast seemed wounded beyond recovery, but the, the fatal wound was healed. The whole world marvelled at this miracle and gave allegiance to the beast. They worshipped the dragon for giving the beast such power and also worshipped the beast. Who is as great as the beast? they exclaimed. Who is able to fight against him? Question mark. Then the beast was allowed to speak great blasphemies against God and he was given authority to do whatever he wanted for 40 months. And he spoke terrible words of blasphemy against God, slandering his name and his dwelling, that is, those who dwell in heaven. And the beast was allowed to wage war against God's holy people and to conquer them and he was given authority to rule over every tribe and people and language and nation. And all the people who belong to this world worship the beast. They are the ones whose names were not written in the book of life before the world was made, and the book that belongs to the Lamb who was slaughtered. Anyone with ears to hear should listen and understand. Anyone who is destined for prison will be taken to prison. Anyone destined to die by the sword will die by the sword. This means that God's holy people must endure persecution patiently and remain faithful. Then I saw another beast come out of the earth. He had two horns like those of a lamb, but he spoke with the voice of a dragon. He exercised all the authority of the first beast and he required all the earth and its people to worship the first beast, whose fatal wound had been healed. He did astounding miracles, even making fire flash down to earth from the sky whilst everyone was watching. And with all the miracles he was allowed to perform on behalf of the first beast, he deceived all the people who belonged to this world. He ordered the people to make a great statue of the first beast, who was fatally wounded and then came back to life. He then permitted to give life to this statue so that it could speak. Then the statue of the first beast commanded that anyone refusing to worship it must die. He required everyone, small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to be given a mark on the right hand of the forehead. And no one could buy or sell anything without this mark, which was neither the name of the beast or the number re representing his name. Wisdom is needed here. Let the one with understanding solve the meaning of the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. His name is 666. Now, dear friends, I don't know how that speaks to you, um, but uh, so how does this scripture speak to, to us? Do we follow the ways of this world, dear children? No, we turn away, we seek Jesus' face. Repent, believe, and be baptized. 
for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. We must not worship idols, we must not worship money, and never receive the mark on the right hand or our foreheads. We are seeing signs in the world today in relation to Revelation 13. Depends how one looks upon it. Trace and track, buying goods by mobile phone. Should we do this? Well, I won't. If you read the Bible from the beginning to the end, the Alpha and the Omega, the Lord's guidance, will become a blessing to you. Alpha, God's world's Alpha course, will be an uplifting event where people can learn about God. We at St John's would love to see you there. And a lovely meal is included too. So we're going to say the Lord's Prayer now. Um, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, now and forever. Amen. Now there's um, uh, some information, more information here about the Earth Course. Um, God's world's Earth Course, cross equals love, equals Jesus, equals new life, and it's the keys to, the, to, the, to knowing more about Jesus, thy kingdom come, as it is in the Lord's Prayer. And the two books, Beyond Earthly Realms, and Trump Blast Warning, explain more about, uh, as the Bible's, as you read the Bible through, it gives you a, a perspective of, of um, the prophecy which Pastor Jason received. Uh, two prophecies he had from, uh, from the Holy Spirit. Quite amazing. The King is Coming musical. Uh, it's absolutely wonderful, absolute gospel company for those who want to make Jesus their Lord and give their lives to Jesus. Yeshua Messiah, 2008 musical, um, which means uh, Jesus Christ, Yeshua Messiah. Uh, there is more, Hillsong Worship. It's got the Lord's Prayer on this one. My path of prayer, which I showed last week, um, biblical quotes in there, and the Symphony of Light is instrumental. We're all all apostles of Christ, Christ representing Jesus. It's a brilliant read. This one, everybody who, who has a faith um, in Jesus should read this, or people who don't have a faith, even more importantly, to read it. Steve Chalk, I haven't read this one yet. It's my next on the list. St John's Church Diary. As, as the Lord Jesus is bringing us out of lockdown and the, and the, the nine o'clock in the morning uh, Dennis J. Bennett um, being baptised in the Holy Spirit and if anybody wonders what's Norman wearing this t-shirt for? Kinran, well it takes place in the Bishop's Palace his story of us, the story of England and um, it's, it's biblical history and there's English history right through to Sir Winston Churchill Kinman, just go to their website for Kinman. Um, so I'm going to um, say the grace, may the peace of the Lord Jesus and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you more now, more now and forever, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen.